Dear students, now we are going to see another program using file handling function. So this one is to copy the content of one file to another file. So there are some data in one file. I want to copy the all the content in one file to another file. Okay. So how to do it? So to better understand that in the last program we have used something called as a command. I'm writing it here that f e o f of say f n okay where f in f in was a uh, pointer to a file okay so this basically tells us whether that end of the file has reached or not okay so this is a binary operator which means that the return type will be integer having value either 0 or 1 so if i'm defining a variable say int a okay and i can put it like a equal to so what happens is that this a will be having either a value 1 or a value 0 <coughs> depending upon whether the end of the file has reached or not. If the end of the file has reached then I am going to get a value as 1 else I will be getting a value as 0. But when we talk about end of a file it means uh, the complete or the completion of a file. But say if I have a file like this for example I am taking a word file say a file like this so here if you speak about end of the file it means that after all this there is uh, like in strings we have this null character right similarly here after all these you are going to have something called as eof okay that is a character so after eof it means that it's end so the end of file basically report at this point so after this there is one more character left okay after only this one more character the end of file is reached so we should be very careful so if i am writing something like say if the file is having a content called as test okay so when i uh, ask it to find the end of the file the end of the file is not at this point there is one more character I am naming the character as EOF. It is a single character. Just assume it as a single character. So the characters in this particular file are T, E, S, T, E, O, F. These, there are totally five characters in here. Okay. So even though it is the end of the file, there are five characters. So we need to be very careful about this. So this is what we are going to deal in this particular program. So let's see how it is done. Okay. So we will come to that. So, so uh, okay so we want uh, some information in a file so let the information be something like this then there is uh, test data and I'm also inputting some special characters fine and I'm saving it so that's my input file so all the content in this input file I want it to be copied to the output file so output file currently contains a value 4.5000 so I want to remove this and I want to have the same file the input data need to be copied into that so let's try that okay so in main so I require two files so I'm just opening two file pointers fn comma f out two file pointers are open now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy each character okay in the input file you can see that there are numbers okay digits are there special characters are there then uh, characters or alphabets are there a space is there so everything is there inside this particular file so the best option is to consider everything as character when i consider one as a character okay we have discussed that in the earlier lecture there is this ascii code so this one even though it is a number it has got an ascii character so ascii value which is corresponding to a character so it will be read as a character so i'm going to read every value in this particular file as characters so to read each character i am defining say character ch okay now i'm going to work on the rest so i need to open the file so i need to have f open so i'm going it like this if so we have seen this case in the last case if fn equal to f open right 
uh, f open and we should specify the file name file name is input dot txt and what should be the mode of the input file it should be readable so r okay equal to equal to null then what should say it should say that printf file not found okay there is nothing available in that particular uh, fin which means file not found else as what i should do i should start reading the content in this file and at the same time i need to copy it so i need to have the other file also opened so i'm going to open the other file so the output file so f out equal to f open then the name is output dot txt and the status should be writable so now i need to write data in output file and i need to read data from input file so here it is r and here it is w and i'm going to check uh, equal to equal to null if i'm not able to open this then i should type or print the file not opened okay so that's the very first thing now so i'm using a lot of if else if else so if this is satisfied if it is if there is a problem in open this opening this file file not found is there if no problem is uh, in opening this particular file it goes here and it will check whether the other file was opened and if it is uh, not able to if it is not able to locate that file it's going to show an error file not found some error is there in creating that file and if it was able to create open this file and create this file then what it should do that's what we are writing here so both the conditions are satisfied or both the conditions are not satisfied which means this fin is available if out is available now we are going for the uh, rest of the part so here I am using a while loop now you may be wondering why I am using a while loop because now what I am going to do is I will read each character from the input file and I will write that in the output file that's what I am going to do so here uh, remember the part I said that when I enter some data in a text the last character the last character in the file is EOF so that's what I'm going to check here so ch to read a character I can use f get c okay I'm using f get c so ch equal to f get c of fin so whatever uh, the first character in fin that will be read first in the second iteration the second character will be read and it keeps on working in that way okay fin now equal to equal to not equal to right not equal to eof what is eof that is a final character unless it is a final character this loop should get executed so that's what we are doing we are checking whether ch the character not equal to eof when it becomes equal to eof it should come out of the loop okay so we are putting the new loop and inside what we need to do so the value in that particular that particular character has been read into ch now i just need to print that in the next file for that i can use fprintf right i can use fprintf or i can use f put c everything will work so i'm going with fprintf here so fprintf so the first thing i need to give the uh, pointer then i need to say what it is it is percentage c because it's a character and i'm going to type ch so whatever value that has uh, that is there in ch will be written into this particular file okay so that's the end of while loop okay it executes and it keep on writing then i need to close this else loop i guess all the loops are closed now i can use f close all okay there are different functions uh, if you want to close all the files together you can use F, uh, f close all 
or you can use one file at a time so if I'm using F close okay, F close all automatically all the files that has been opened like in the program if I'm opening 10 files uh, writing F close for each of those is a hectic task to avoid that we have this F close all so all the files that are open will be closed in a single statement okay so that's a return statement <clears throat> so I guess we are done now let's see so I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it into that same folder okay I'm going to name it as so file copy this location is very important because only if I store in that particular location I can access these because I haven't specified any path for these files and now I'm running it okay it's uh, throwing some error so let's see what it is this f close uh, first using this function okay maybe this compiler is not recognizing it so we'll uh, go with the regular one so it is going to be f close the first one is fin then again f close the second one is f out okay now let's try it okay so there is nothing got printed which means the only printf statements was file not found and file not opened okay this is the f printf so this two statement didn't come which means that the opening and the closing of the files are predefined now let's see what the output is okay so this is our input file now i'm opening my output file and you can see that both the input and output okay so let's see the input file the input file and the output file this output this input they are exactly same so whatever content that is there in the input got copied to the output file so this is what is intended from this particular program so we i want you to focus on this part so when i was trying this okay this is one method to identify the end of a file okay here we are talking about the characters so what is the last character the last character in a file will always be eof it is a single character even though there is three alphabets it doesn't mean that it's three character it is a single character eof which means that that is the last character in the file if you are using feof okay just like the one that we used in the previous program feof that is the end of file so the end of file comes after the eof okay you should be very careful so when you're dealing with characters the best thing is to go for check in this manner okay the read the character and check that it is not equal to eof whenever it becomes eof it means that all the characters are done okay so this is another program which where also we are using the uh, file handling functions okay these are two very simple programs that we have discussed so for examination also you can expect uh, problems of this type not very complicated ones okay so we have this and uh, we'll move on and we'll discuss more programs okay thank you